Could you talk a little more yeah. about William Regal, though, uh, training with him and meeting him, what his personality was like? Because I know at various points, you know, he had his demons at some points, but I think at this point, he was kind of getting past some of that. I'm not really sure the specifics, but how was he? Because obviously everyone loves him. He's like a world-class everything, like talker, wrestler, uh, producer, <laughs> trainer, like anything mm. anybody ever says about him is nothing but high praise. I'm guessing it'll be the same with you, but could you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, it's amazing what a suit and an accent will do, right? <laughs> uh, he's, he's a, no, he's a, 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 a friend and a mentor, and I I think darn near everybody is crazy about him in the world of wrestling because he loves wrestling so much. Um, yeah, I was I was. Uh, very lucky in that when I got to go to TV um, in 2003, uh, Mr. Regal asked me to to ride with him, and I did, and that was great. I, oh, that's I, awesome. Yeah, I got to um, ask him questions every day, and then I got to be around all the other wrestlers who I got to ask questions to, and um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I guess um, as nervous as I am or was, I wasn't ever nervous about the pursuit of of being better as a wrestler in the way of, of asking a Benoit or a Guerrero um, to watch your mat watch my match please and uh, and bug them to try to become a better wrestler. Uh, I've been very lucky.